Capi, 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 Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. So, I'm starting out over here rather than back over at the palace because it's just simply faster getting to the next destination that I would like to go to via this spot rather than the other one because we've got that whole grass maze fiasco going on, and yeah, let's just skip past that. <laughs> <laughs> just go from the pyramid down south and I need to get my hammer out actually uh, because because remember those squishy post looking things bloop 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 yep you can go right through them now <laughs> this way bomb shop uh, I'll do that later that's for a side quest um, but down, wait, wait, actually, no, I have to go in this direction, I'm a little bit off track, don't worry though, I'm getting there. <laughs> what I want to do is go over to where dungeon, well, not, not, a, not, not a dungeon, it was like more like a mini dungeon place, remember that place that had those blocks that you had to go in and out to bo get both the chest and the heart piece from the outside? Yeah, that's the, the place that I'm looking at here. Uh, I should say looking to get to here and here we are so this right here is dungeon number two known as the swamp palace you know dungeon two of the dark world <laughs> so let's go inside and see what is going on hmm okay we got that up there we got this over here and I think it is I. <laughs> Objects exist simultaneously in both worlds with similar shapes. In the form of a thing, if the form of a thing changes, it will affect the shape of its twin in the other world. So as you can tell, there's absolutely nothing we can do here in its current form. So what do we do? Well, in order to make progress in the dungeon, we've actually got to do some shenanigans back over at the other world. So I'm going to do this. And, yeah, I magic mirrored there. I'm going to go back in. And now I'm going to do this puzzle again. Even though it's not really much of a puzzle. <laughs> in fact, this isn't even much of a mini dungeon. What was I saying before? I don't know. But let me grab... Let... let uh, why weren't you letting me grab that for a second there? <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't registering my button press. Weird. Anyway. Alright, so... Down this way. Let's go back into our sparkles, because the sparkles is like the automatic transfer portal. And look at that, it's drained out here, which actually means it's filled up in here. <laughs> and that means we can now go across here, isn't that nice? By the way, these are uh, water tectites here that we've seen, and I think what I am going to do here is... I think I'm going to need these out a lot, so I'm going to put them out. I don't need them now. Uh, the water tectites just hang out in the water there. Yeah, they can't really go beyond the water line, and oh yeah, that's right, those bouncy diagonal guys. You're, you're always safe at particular spots because they don't really aim for you specifically. Like, you see, it's, it's it always bounces at 90 degree angles. They're a Kirinmon or something like that, or yeah, it's, it's kind of a weird name. And there's a key, it's... I don't know how you could possibly miss that key. I mean, what? I don't even see the point of this in all... <laughs> I mean, maybe it's to try and get you to avoid said, you know, issue of Kirimon and thingamabobbers, you know, around you to get said key and whatnot. But I'm not seeing it, it's not that difficult. <laughs> And we've also got some Zoles popping up out of the ground. Oh no! Surprise enemies that are not really much of a surprise. <laughs> Alright, let's carefully go down here. Avoid the Medusa. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, I know you're there. Woo! I just want to see what's underneath the delightful skull pots. Uh, okay, we're good. I'm out of here. <laughs> uh, oh, I don't like the red ones. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they are the, the red staffles, they have this, this thing where they jump up away from you and they throw bones. That's not good. <laughs> um, see this quadruple shooter here that shoots when you swing your sword? That is another form of the Medusa known as the Yomo Medusa. It's pretty annoying actually because it reduces your area that you can battle in in the room basically like if, if you were to say try and close in on that guy a little bit too quickly yeah you're gonna have some issues <laughs> and uh um 
moving fire bar there is known as Winder. Alright, moving on. With the groove on, I don't have a key. But I might get a prize from this. No, I did not. That's that's sad. <laughs> but I know where the key is. It's coming up. Oh, look at that. There's the key. <laughs> it just makes you look around, I guess. That's, that's their idea. Uh, this statue, I don't believe it's pushable. No, it isn't. I don't even think it's pullable from the other side. Well, well maybe it is. Yeah, stop that. No, no, no. I'm not going to deal with you guys all over again. No. All right, so I need the hammer here and... Oh! Wait, Hammer is actually pretty effective against that, because he didn't jump away when I tried to... I mean, when I actually hit him with a hammer, and yeah, if I'm in range with said sword... Uh, actually, I'll leave the bombs out. <laughs> yeah, it'll jump away. Anyway, now, what I'm gonna do here is... Wait, actually, hold on. Let's see this side here first, just for kicks. Yeah, I didn't think that this would have anything that uh, hitting that switch would change. Uh, see this? Oh! Why... That I think those would stay down. <laughs> what did we do? Well, we gave ourselves access to other stuff, basically. <laughs> like I say, if we went down here, look at this, now it's flooded just like when we entered the dungeon. You remember that we had to flood the area in order to get up to said ladder, to get up to uh, the actual entrance to the dungeon? Yup. Isn't there a... I thought there's something breakable there, I don't know. Alright, in here, watch out for the critters popping out of those, yeah, those holes in the walls. They just keep coming unlimitedly. It's kind of annoying. I believe they're called Pugusu or something like that. It's kind of a weird name. Just be careful. Oh, wait, wait, I went too early. <laughs> just be careful not to run into them on stairs like I did there, and you should be just fine. There's a lot of... Uh, Enemies that just keep coming back here uh, in this particular room. Not the water tectites. They're they're cool. They go away pretty quickly. But uh, everything else is just just gonna cause you ire left and right. <laughs> even like even the Medusa is not something that you can get rid of at will. <laughs> yep, yeah, yeah. I am being too reckless here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go up here. I'm tempted to use... Wait, do I even have another fairy? I forgot to check that. Eh, take that. Oh, thank you for going up there! Oh, you came back. Because <laughs> it's really annoying to deal with them in a tighter space and you're dealing with all the other things. Alright, so I got some hearts. That's pretty nice. Uh, eh! Eh! Uh-oh, well, we can't make progress there. Oh, uh, oh, geez, that's... That's obnoxious. <laughs> Even more obnoxious than I am sometimes. Alright, so what I want to do here is take that key somewhere else. Actually, you've probably seen where I can use this key. Yep, it's over here. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is go in this room. And there's a switch that I can utilize over at this particular spot. Ah! Ah, I got a little hasty. I'm so sorry. And I can actually hit it like that. <laughs> It just takes, takes the whole tick, 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 tick issue of the trap there out of the factor. And now this floods the area. Obviously, you don't have to worry about missing out on the key over there because you have to get the key in order to actually be able to flood this area. Oh, come on, are you serious? <laughs> so, yeah. And hitting that switch allows us to go back through here. Isn't that a handy little dickens? <laughs> and now we can swim above said blocks rather than having to push said blocks and swimming controls in this game is really weird please give me a heart or a fairy or thank you for a heart <laughs> heart please too oh oh if i see any anti-fairies around here i should probably sprinkle them with some magic dust i keep forgetting to do that <laughs> uh see this is what kind of makes them tricky to deal with it, when they're combined with other critters Otherwise, they're rather predictable overall, because, you know, when they hit a wall, they change into a random direction, and yeah. Now, can I push these blocks? I don't believe so. Oh, I can push these, so it's only that other one. Alright, but let's see what's down this road here. Well, obviously, there's a chest. That chest is something to grab. Stop that. Don't you dare. Uh-uh, I'm not going into low health beeping again. No, Siri Bobby. Oh, and in case you didn't realize, this is the game's water dungeon. Yep! 
But it's not that bad of a water dungeon, really. <laughs> I think uh, Ocarina of Time's water dungeon, um, even though people have gotten the hang of it by now, you know, it's all, because, you know, they got, got it all memorized and stuff like that. But Ocarina of Time's water dungeon just gave everyone a, a sour stomach to water dungeons in general. And that's why people go like, oh god, no, not another water dungeon, whenever they see a water dungeon. Yeah. Ah, yes, hearts are over there. That's always nice to see. I'm just trying to... Eee. I'm just trying to avoid everything at once here. Guru bars. Medusas. Um, this way is the chest. The other way are pa are those skull heads that you can pick up. I'm going to go for the chest. Because the chest has got some deliciousness. Yeah, it's rupees. <laughs> and uh, now I'm going to go back. The other ah, I, I swung my sword. You even heard the... Whoosh, of the sword, I'm- that's- eh, oh, whatever. And now I'm gonna go back up and go to said other path. Just because... Shoot that way, please, okay. <laughs> I don't like timing everything at once. Yeah. yeah! Okay, I'm gonna push this down, and go, go, go! <laughs> oh wait, was I supposed to hit the crystal s- Ah, I was supposed to hit the crystal switch! I forgot about that back at the other room, and <laughs> So I gotta go back this way. <laughs> it's alright though. Not that big of a deal. By the way, I noticed that the um they always seem to spawn, you know, the the walking fire type things. They they always seem to spawn at the same spot, so you don't have to worry about them like randomly popping up in your face or something like that. Wait, what am I doing? Why did I try to go up that way? I mean I know the room is this way that has the crystal switch, but why did I go and try that way of all ways? Okay, so here is the actual puzzle um, when it comes to this crystal switch here. What you gotta do is get that on the inside of that, otherwise you're gonna be get getting that obnoxious yeah, sound along with, um, you know, not being able to get out of there. And now what we gotta do is loop around this way, uh, down through these rooms, because the, the switch is a different way now. Uh, because if we went down the south door in that other room, yeah, there's these blocks in the way and we can't get through, so... Yup! Gots to watch where those blocks are and think proficiently, I guess. <laughs> and... Oh, aha! It's nice that you spawn in the same spot, as I said. <laughs> and go, 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 go! And they only bounce off the walls a few times before they dissipate. So it's not, they aren't that big of a deal, but it's the thing of that they're so fast and they just keep respawning. And it's like fighting uphill. <laughs> you know, it's just like you're constantly tackling them as you're going. And yeah, uh, normally I would like to go in the direction of a fire bar if I see a fire bar. You know, guru guru bar. But in that case, I went around it because it left me further away from the medusas. And the medusas are pretty annoying. <laughs> and now this gives me... The big key! Oh yeah, oh god. Ugh. It's moved back. Why? Dear Arceus, why? Uh. Alright, let's go get the dungeon item and then finish off the part, shall we? Oh no, here, here, this is what I mean, uphill! <laughs> because if they kept coming at you while you are going down that way, you'd have to keep swiping at them uh, with your sword. Or whatever item of your choosing. I prefer the sword because it's got that that wide frontal range, I guess you could say. Uh, which way are you going? Which way are you going to... Come on, come on. <laughs> All right, dungeon item right here. We have something that a lot of Legend of Zelda fans love. It's the hookshot! <laughs> and now we have... Free reign around the dungeon! <laughs> Isn't that awesome? There's a key over here. And you know what? Before I get into more stuff, I think I'm going to end the part up here. Okay? Okay, so I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.